Hey y'all, I'm Carol Corey and I'm here in my little creative corner and I'm so excited to make this precious little card with you guys. Um, <coughs> now, she does use a four and a quarter by five and a half acetate sheet. See, I really am holding something in my hand. A sheet of Whisper White that's four and a quarter by six, and a sheet of DSP that is also four and a quarter by six. And we're gonna glue those together and we are gonna score them at the half inch line so that will end up being the same length when it's folded over. But um, of course, you can use any paper you want, but this beautiful DSP is here's the whole sheet. Uh, if you want to see the whole sheet. Um, and on the back, little keys. So cute. This is the Bird Ballad DSP, and it's from the um, Freeze Bird Suite. But I just love this paper. And I love how she just looks like she's just dancing carefree in a field of flowers. So, let's get started. Let me put these aside. Put her out of the way. Here is the window sheet. Now the window sheets are good for so much more than just the um, shaker cards. Uh, let me show you. These are the two sets that we're going to be using today. The Beautiful You set, it's a two box stamp set. It's got three different beautiful images and several different lovely sentiments. And I just really liked on Colorful Seasons that little blowing flower petals. So we're gonna use those too. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna do her with my Stamparatus just to make sure that I'm getting her in the right spot. And if I accidentally knock off any of the embossing powder, then I'll be able to put her back on the Stamparatus and re-emboss it. So, I'm going to put the window sheet down. There we go. Now, I've already made several of these cards, so I know it, that I want to have... Oh, before I do anything, let me hit it with the stamping embossing buddy. That kind of breaks the static on the, on the embossing sheet, so you know it's going to be a nice clean stamp. Now, I've already made several of these, so I know I want her at the very bottom of the acetate sheet, and I want three of the squares either side of her. And then I know she's in the middle. There we go. Yes. I love using the graph paper. Make sure your measurements are right. Make sure your items are straight. Then we just lay that down. Pick the stamp up. And there you go. Now, I do like to put an ink pad underneath the plate when I ink up my stamp on the Stamparatus. And that way I know that I'm not making a total mess. With the Versamark, it doesn't really matter. But when you're using a colored ink, believe me, it matters. Okay, let's make sure I get every bit of her in contact with the window sheet. There we go. And let me grab my embossing powder here. Of course, you could do her in any color you choose. I like using copper, actually. It looks pretty. A little bath in the powder. Nice little thump with the fingers. Okay, now before we hit her with the heat gun, one of the most important things to do, make sure your Versa mark is closed before you use the powder, and close your container your heat tool into that container. Then 
you've really got a mess on your hand. Okay. This out of the way. Bear with the noise for just a moment. It's kind of loud. It only takes a minute. You watch it and you see how it just bubbles up and melts. Bubbles up and melts down. So quickly and easily. Now we're going to set this aside while the embossed section cools off. Okay, it's pretty hot at the moment, so we're just going to put that aside, let it cool off. Okay, let's go ahead and glue these two sheets together. I'm just going to take a little bit of wet glue. Glue holds really well. I don't need to put a ton of it. Now the easiest way to line things up, stand them up next to each other. And there you have it. There we go. And with the wet glue, you do have a minute put things to rights if it got crooked. All right. Scoring. Okay. Stampin' trimmer. I can't wait to see what Stampin' Up! is going to bring out next. Okay. So I'm going to score this at five and a half inches. Remember, it was six inches long. Okay, so I'm going to score it at five and a half inches. Well, so that you have a half inch score line there. Down. And bend it up on the score line. Go ahead and put that to the side. And while that finishes cooling off, we're going to go ahead and stamp our little label. Now I am using pretty lit the pretty little label here, and that's literally the name of it, pretty label punch. Okay, and I'm gonna punch it out before I stamp. With the balmy blue, I'm going to do my sentiment from the beautiful you set. I'm doing the sentiment that says, life looks beautiful on you. Now, don't press into the stamp pad, just tap, tap, tap. Just tap it and then stamp off. Okay, everything is inked up and it's not a mess around the edges. Okay, so just tap, tap, tap. Don't wiggle it, just lay it on there, press, and there you have your beautiful image. Now we're going to go ahead and put our flowers on there. I think that's a good thing to do next. Now I don't necessarily need these flowers to be this dark, so I'm going to stamp it off once and then stamp onto my leaf. There we go. Flowers make me happy. Yes, they do. Okay. Cute, cute. Shut. 
put away so I don't make a mess. Alrighty, now let's get these out of the way. Now I'm sure she's cooled off, so it's time to color her. Now you can't color on window sheets with most markers, but with your Stampin' Blends, you can. So I'm just going to use the Pineapple Punch, the Dark Blend, to give her a nice sunshiny attitude in her happy day as she's dancing around. yellow and blue look together. What are some of your favorite color combos? Yellow and blue are happy. Okay. There she is. Okay. Now we have to score her also. Um, we're going to score her at two and three quarters inches. Remember there's a half inch mark here on the six inch one, on the six inch panel. We scored well, five and a half inches, or you could go from the other direction and call it a half inch. We want her in the middle, so that's going to be at the two and three quarter inch mark. Um, let me grab my Yes, you can score it on the scoring trimmer, but I'm going to use my score mat so that I don't scratch the embossing, okay? So that's at the two and three quarter inch mark. projects, but they can be slickery to work with. As I make up new words, slickery. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we have to attach this here. I've already got my adhesive ready. Just slide this up to the score line. And then press that down. Nice good press. Make sure that tear and tape doesn't let go. And now we're ready to finish it off. Isn't this working quickly? Doesn't this just go quickly? Now, the ribbon that I want to use on this card, I used organdy ribbon. I love this little Swiss dot. I'm going to use this Swiss dot, but I don't know if I want it white. I think I want it blue. It's only available in white, but that's not a problem. Oops. I want to wear white pants. They can be blue. We just take our ink pad and. Run it across your ink pad 
and it dyes it. Now this balmy blue is a very light blue, so you're not going to see it yelling at you, but if you fold it against the white, then you can see the difference. It's got a little blue tinge to it. You see? So, yes. I dye ribbon quite often. Because, you know, there's a limit to how much storage space somebody might have. There's a limit to how many colors Stampin' Up! carries. So with the white, you can have literally any color that you're working with. There we go. Okay. Oh. Need another little piece of tear and tape here, the skinny stuff. down the back there. Peel it off. This tear and tape peels so easily. Okay. Now, I just want to make a little loop. That's it. There we go. Let's go loot. Oops. Wrong direction. That way. Not the loop part on that side. Now, throw some dimensionals on I use these, my tweezers like another hand. So many things. Trim the ribbon so it doesn't run over the side of the card. And finish it off with a couple of pretty little pearl accents. I'm just going to look and find a flower and put it in the middle of the flower. I like how Stampin' Up's little accents are adhesive back. It. One less step. You don't have to look for the little blue dots. I don't think there's any problem, but if you're making multiple cards, every step you get to skip. And there we have it. Isn't she cute? And of course, any note that you wanted to write, you can write on the back because it's all white. But I just love that card and it comes together so quickly. So I'm sure you will love making her, and I'm sure whoever you give it to will even, will be just thrilled to have her sitting on their mantle or their um, coffee table. When you give a homemade card, it is a true gift, and people do appreciate it, especially when it's a work of art. Well, I guess they're all a work of art. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Anyways, so I hope you liked this card. I hope you make it yourself. And if you need to get any of these products, which I will have all listed right in the description below, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out with that. Just go to Creating with Carol, that's C-A-R-O-L-E, 
creatingwithcarol.stampinup.net or find me on Facebook, Made With Love. Actually, you'll see her on there. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Bye now.